get the sweat, we escape from Clinton Correctional Facility. And those fucking pigs are never gonna catch us. Yeah, I'd like to see the look on their face when they try to figure out how we escaped. Well, you know what? You know what? We got cable. We can watch what those news anchors are saying about us. We are still waiting for more information, but Jim, what can you tell us so far about the escaped convicts? Well, we know David Sweat is a sick, twisted individual who goes to sleep dreaming of murdering innocent babies. You're right, that's right, my boy's fucking evil, yeah. fucking evil. I can't wait to hear what they have to say about you. Yeah. And Richard Matt has a very large penis. This vital fact comes to us from the New York Post shortly after the prison break. I'm just getting word now that Richard Matt may have used his colossal penis to manipulate guards and help him escape from the prison. Did I mention that Matt has a gargantuan penis? What, what the hell? Hold on, hold on. Let's hear what they have to say. <laughs> Now, um, have we heard anything about Sweat's penis size? Well, I can only assume that David Sweat has a tiny penis, <laughs> dwarfed even more in size by the fact that Richard Matt, his accomplice, has the largest penis anyone in the world has ever seen. <laughs> what, what, what is this? We, we, we break out of jail in the most spectacular fashion possible, and they just want to talk about your penis? <laughs> 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 Now, do we have any proof to confirm these massive <laughs> allegations? Good one, Charlie. Great one. I'm glad you asked because we do have a visual aid to help us picture Richard Matt's birth. Now, what you may think that you are looking at is an image that has been blurred for the censors, but in actuality, Richard Matt's penis is so beautiful that to gaze upon it for too long could cause blindness. What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I also want to let the viewers at home know that they should be on the lookout for anything that can help them identify to the law enforcement agencies about these criminals. Mm -hmm. Yes, Matt can be identified by a baby arm, which is bulging out of his trousers. <laughs> and Sweat will appear to have a tiny grain of rice between his legs. <laughs> oh, oh, hell no, no. I am turning this off. I am not going to listen to that. Right. We're going to change the channel. I'm going to find something else. Okay. What does it even matter? It doesn't. Yeah. New reports are coming in about the penis that is storming the world. <laughs> oh, come on! <sighs> Crazy! <laughs> uh, it's no surprise that David Sweat turned to murder. Most men with small penises tend to turn to crime as a way to overcompensate for their small size, much like men who drive Hummers or wear polo shirts with the collar popped up. <laughs> this reporter speculates the only reason that Richard Matt and David Sweat became friends is that Matt once made passionate sweet love to Sweat's mother, pleasuring <laughs> her all night long with his thunder rod. <laughs> no, no. That is terrible. I never knew your full legal name. It's, it's, it's Richard Matt? Richard Matt. Dick Matt? Well, okay. <laughs> Your name is Dick Matt. Tag you. Nice, <laughs> nice gargantuan penis, Dick Matt. 